Probably the number one driver for a lot of the omni-channel development today is retailers like Amazon. They've done a great job of delivering low cost and great service. So what the brick and mortar retailers are trying to understand how to do is how do we leverage our assets to be able to provide equal or better experiences for our customer at comparable costs. The omni-channel retail operation is in place. If you look around the industry, you'll see most retailers have a web presence and they have systems uh, to be able to interact with their consumers. What we're finding though is that there's more and more challenges coming from the industry and expectations that consumers have. Today's consumer expects that when they place an order, they've got a lot of options in terms of how they can get that product and they expect those orders to be accurate and very timely. So the expectations that are set by the retailer need to be realized. So the challenge that brick and mortar retailers have is how am I gonna leverage my assets of inventory and facilities to gain a competitive edge against these major retailers so that I can not only retain my customers but possibly even gain new customers. And then how do I actually make my experience with these customers uh, differentiating enough to the point where I really can change the game. We believe the real opportunity brick and mortar retailers have is to turn the retail store into a warehouse, into a facility where you can actually fulfill orders just like you would in a traditional warehouse, and now you have some advantages. You have the advantage of your facility is closer to your customers. With real-time inventory, you have an opportunity to now deliver maybe even same day. So I can place this order online and maybe go pick it up in the store or deliver it locally, uh, leveraging those assets. We believe that's the frontier of uh, omni-channel retail. And with the right systems, the right technology, and the right operational processes, you could really have a game-changing opportunity. So you might ask, why does it make sense to use the retail store as a fulfillment center? If you look at what's happening with the pure plays like Amazon, they're building more and more distribution centers closer to their consumers so that their cost of, of delivery and the timing of delivery is better and better. Well, already the brick and mortar retailers, and I'll say this is especially true with like grocery type stores, these stores are already in the neighborhoods of the consumer. The grocery stores already have the advantage, they have the uh, brand recognition, but now you have to put systems in place to make this something that's accurate, timely, efficient. That requires you to have the kind of technology and the systems and the operational practices that make this all work and interactive with your consumer. So you've decided it makes sense now to look at using your retail store as an e-commerce fulfillment center. So in this next series, we're gonna talk about some of the kind of investments you're gonna to need to make to do this cost effectively and attractive to your customer.